guys, how you doing? It's Mary from Mary Cat Stitches, and today is Thursday, June 10th, 2021, and it's starting to get dark outside, and I just had an opportunity to pop in with a video, and I have a couple whips to show you. I also got the newest Dress Cross Stitch magazine. I wanted to flip through because I love absolutely everything in there, and a couple of Things I got in the mail from Top, Top Knot Stitcher, and just my take on the on the kit that I've been working on, the pros and the cons. Now that I'm getting towards the end of the, my project, so I have no finishes yet, but I have two whips that I worked on and pandemic, but I left it downstairs and really wasn't a lot to show anyway. So. I'll wait until next week, right before I go on vacation, or that's my actually my birthday week. Anyway, I'll pop in then and give you an update and hopefully some finishes. So, what I'm going to show you now is this kit. Before I show you it, I'm going to tell you what I think of it. And this is just my honest opinion. Of course, you could take it with a grain of salt, or it could help you if you decide to buy kits, especially Design Works. And I think it's a lovely chart. It's very easily to read. The only drawback is, is I ran out of floss on a couple of colors. So I was completely bummed out. And so today on my day off, I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and I'll show you some other things I got there as well. I'm going to just show you this, the positive to it. And that's why I can gift this chart when I'm finished with it is it has the DMC equivalents. And that's what I did. I went and got a couple of skeins of floss and um, my husband thought, well, did you lose some because I have a tendency of losing as I go but I really feel like I didn't I just feel like either it's just the way I stitch or they just give you just enough and maybe it wasn't enough for me but no harm no foul I went and got it so it is looking absolutely cute so today I'm concentrating on my back stitch I was able to complete the the tutu yesterday and so this is what it looks like so far and it's much cuter than what the picture shows and she's just coming to life so the needle miter is actually something I found at Hobby Lobby before the pandemic and I finally got some E6000 glue and I made it into a needle miter so she's looking fabulous I ran out of black, I ran out of green, I ran out of a couple of the pinks, and you know, it blends it enough. I can't even tell the color difference. So she's looking cute. I hope to finish her next week. I really think that that's a possibility. The second thing that I decided to pick up is probably something you don't even remember that I was working on. And this was a Biscornu I started last year, I'm not sure when, when I was hoping to do a Biscornu a, a month. Of course, that didn't work out. Things changed in my life, and that's okay. So I decided, you know what? I feel like doing it because. It seems like with black work, and I haven't done a lot of black work, um, just the lines could be very confusing to my eyes. And I don't know if it's because I'm aging or the, just the way my eye focuses, but it's getting a little easier and I'm enjoying it immensely. So I'm going to show you it and I'm going to tell you where I purchased it from. So this is what it looks like. That is... What I picked up today and made into a needle biter, it was only a dollar, and it was in the um, clearance rack of the jewelry. That's why I tend to go to 
get some of this stuff. And I made a nail liner. And of course, it's supposed to be a hot air balloon. And it says, we rise by lifting others, which I love the positive energy, just kind of like the other one that said live simply. It, it's getting tucked because of the, um, the magnetic, but it's still very cheerful and bright and makes me happy. So I'm okay with it. Anyway, I love it. This is side one of the Piscornio. It's going to be a Piscornio. Okay. It is by Practical Blackwork on Etsy. It's called Filigrana. And I'm using DMC 121 variegated blue. So I'm really excited about it. I'm going to show it to you again since I feel like I kind of just threw it up there and it it wasn't very nice of me to do that. So hang on just a second. And I'll give you a better look. It's really pretty. And this is just some scrap even weed that I had. I don't even know what it is. But I try to save my scraps so I can make smalls out of. And that's really... All that I worked on besides a little bit on pandemic but I'm gonna work on my Piscornia you this weekend and maybe one other project I'm gonna put the frog away until Monday and that way I don't get tired of it and I feel like I should have it done by Friday so fingers crossed because that would be the best so I've worked on something else on my birthday because my birthday is next Friday. So the next thing I wanted to show you was the flip through on the Just Cross Stitch magazine. And I received this yesterday. So I looked through it a little bit, but not a lot. So we're kind of discovering it together. So instead of just putting, showcasing five items, I'm going to go through the entire thing because I really love pretty much all the patterns of this one. So there's going to be months where I love everything and then there's going to be some months that it's not as, I don't find as much, but I feel like for the $20 that I pay or the $23, I'm getting my money's worth out of it. So this is the cover. This is actually by Doreen Jones and it's super cute. Okay, this one just, I, I love it. I don't know if I would stitch it, but it's called Summer's Day. And I think I wouldn't just because I'm not farming, but it's, it's so cute. And I just, I might change my mind. Those trees are super cute. And um, I never say never, because you know, my tastes have changed over the years. Anyway, let's see who stitched that. Who is that by? That is by Jenny Barden of JB Cross Stitch. And that is just really pretty. Almost looks like a heart, the two trees. I just love that. The second one I am definitely going to stitch. And it is a monarch butterfly. And this is by Anna Pavluk. And I probably butchered your name and I apologize, but this butterfly is absolutely gorgeous. And I love all nature and I, and I love butterflies, especially. Gorgeous. The next one I thought was so cute as well, and it's another spall. It's called Ladybug, Ladybug, and it's by Janet Bryant Groves of Crafty Cat Design. And it, it's a little Quaker and it's got a little ants and it's, it's super cute. Ladybug, Ladybug. The next one is by Pam Lewis and Susan Rome of Praiseworthy Stitches. It's kind of neat. It's called a floral ort tray. And you can actually buy this ort tray, which is really cute. And they tell you where to get it. 
And you could probably make that as an ornament, you know, and change the colors. You know, you don't have to have it just as an art tray. You could probably actually make it as a biscornio as well. You just put a border around it. Make a little pillow. Yeah. There's lots of stuff. Next one's really cute. It's called Picnic Time. It's by Kathleen Burlew. That pie looks so... Doesn't that pie and that sandwich and watermelon look so good? Get you in the summertime spirit. The next one is cute if for all the bee lovers it's called be happy and it's three different bee you could make it as a bookmark and they have it framed and on a towel i mean it's, i love how they make it very versatile and this again is by anna pop pop view all view it's so cute The next one is um, I like I kind of like it, but I don't I don't know if I'll do it because I like the specialty stitches on it. It's it's a series sponsored by Sullivan's USA, which they are them they're similar to DMC, just slightly different. It's by Christy Schmidt. I believe she is an editor or used to be an editor from this magazine. Anyway, I love that. Especially stitches. So you never know. I might do this one. And that's part four. The next one is really cute. You could probably make it as a biscornu, or they got a, like a little pillow, or an ornament, or whatever. It's called Oars the Ramparts, and it looks like a little quilt. And it's by Wendy Shepherd. It's really cute. Just reminds me of Port Square. The next one I like, it's called Liberty, and it is by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. Liberty. I like the eagle. The next one is Stars and Stripes, and it's Bunting. I don't know if I would do this one, but it's still really, really cute. And you could probably do other things with it. I might take the stars out because I'm always looking for stars and do something with it. Nevertheless, this is by Chrissy Call Callahan of Turtle Bunny Creations. So I'm sure there's lots of creative ways. You could make it into cards, you know. Make up a lot of things. Maybe a, a stand or put in a frame. The next one I really like. I'm kind of hit or miss when it comes to samplers. Sometimes I like them. Sometimes I don't. I actually, I think I'm really going to stitch one, this one. I'm really surprised because this is an English reproduction, but yet I like it because it doesn't have a lot of poems and stuff like that. It's just basically the alphabet and some motifs. So this one is by Pam Lewis and Susan Wong of Praiseworthy Stitches. It's called Jane Willoughby 1833 Sampler. And I'm loving this one. It is beautiful. I'm definitely going to stitch this one. Now, the re another reason why I like it is not only does it have summer 
and it has patriotic but this is where they give you the preview of the Christmas ornaments and they are all so cute so let's see if I can kind of do this where you're not going to see everything let's see okay this is called Rudolph by Jenny Barton of JB Cross Stitch. And that is so cute. This is the cute take on the reindeer. Next one I really love um, because it's got black work and it, you know, it makes it a little different. It's called Triangle Tree by Liz Allman of Black Work Journey. And it's got some beads in there and it's just fresh and it's really cute. I like it a lot. The next one is called Santa Gnome. It's by Kim Beamish. And for all the gnome lovers, that's been very popular this year. He's a cutie patootie. The next one is really cute as well. It's called Penguin Wishes by Rona Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. And I like the dimension of the beads. I think you do that, you get those beads with like friendship bracelets and stuff. And it's just super cute. The next one is Royal Nutcracker Stamp. And it's by Tatiana. Romero of My Lolita Lilla. I probably butchered it, but it's a really cute take on the Nutcracker. Think of a postage stamp. The next one is a really pretty bird. It's called Gathering for Christmas by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan Studio. That is really pretty. I love looking out my window. I'll, I, I stay in my kitchen a lot, you know, and I, I have this big window. And I look over and I just see the squirrels and they're so cute. And they're hip hopping. They almost look like bunny rabbits. And then they, and they're so quick and everything. And then we have lots of birds that fly in our yard. And, um, there's this shrub that I have back there. And every year for the last three or four years, they have used that shrub to build a nest and, ha and ha have their eggs there. So I'm pretty honored. So I've really enjoyed um, watching the, the creatures, you know. It's so cute, the little birds and stuff. But at any rate, the next one is called Holly Jolly, and it's a design by Linda Janine Jenkins. And that's pretty too. Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. I like that song. It's so cheerful. And then the last one is called Christmas Peace. It's by Perry A. Hattie of Stitch. Stajora. I don't like the shape of the heart. It's so cute. And that's all for the Christmas ornaments. So then this picture, which was on the front cover, again, it's by Doreen Jones. It's called Take Me to the Sea. And it's really cute. I don't know if I'll stitch it, but I really like it anyway. We'll just have to see. Let's get it, see. I'm such a nerd. Let's see. The next one is really cute. If you know any fishermen or fisher ladies, I should say, anybody that likes to go fishing, because I have a lot of co workers that are that are females that like to go fishing too. My sister likes to go fishing. I personally am not into it, but I, I think it's great. And working at a sporting goods store, I sell a lot of fishing supplies. 
But this one is really cute. It's called Gone Fishing. It's by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan Studio. I like that. I think it's really a different, you know? The next one is really neat. You have you have to buy this boat, but they tell you where to buy it. It's almost Quakerish. Anyway, it's called Setting Sail. It's by Amanda May Monaden of Art of Designs. And that's really neat. You know, somebody that owns a boat, you know, that has a boat, likes to go fishing or sailing or what have you. But just enjoys taking it out and just going for rides. I think that would be a great gift. Next one is called Seaside Summer, and it's by Tatiana Romero of my Valetta Lilla. And I butchered it, and I'm sorry for that. But here you go. And that's a cute little bookmark. And then last but not least is the very last, if I could find it, and it is part four of my Quaker Christmas Sampler by Nancy Whaler of FaithWorks Design. And you only have two more parts left. And that's super cute. So thank you all for allowing me to do this flip through. I think it's so much fun. I'm interested to see if you saw anything in there that you're, you would be interested in stitching. Um, I made a promise to my husband. Of course, he was joking. Now he tells me he, he was joking. But he said, Mary, you really shouldn't be stitching anymore. You've got so much. He, he said he was half joking and half serious. And I'm like, you're never going to have too much stuff. But... I did go through my magazines. I ripped out what I knew I would definitely contemplate stitching and just try to make room for new things. And so as long as he sees me making progress, it'll make him happy. I'm like, when I buy things, it's tangible. When he gets things, it's not. It is what it is. But he, he usually doesn't care what I spend on or anything. I said, hey, it's my birthday and I got it on sale, so what you gonna do? But I did buy a couple of things and then I might buy a couple more and then that's it for a while. But I bought this fabric because I want to do it for score meal and I got the perfect I don't know what pattern I'm gonna do yet. I gotta figure that out, but I've got a beautiful button, and I've got some, um, what do you call it? The, the, um, the studs and stuff. I forget what the heck it's called now. But anyway, I can't wait to start on it. So when she had the scrap of material, I knew I needed to get it. So this is 32 count wool choked, um, linen called Mediterranean Sea. And I just think it's so gorgeous, see? I know it's in the wrapper and it's kind of hard to tell, but I can't wait to start on a Biscornio. I think it's gonna be amazing. The next thing I decided to get, and I've never purchased her designs before, it's called Jump Into Spring. And this was from 2020. And it's by Jeanette Douglas. And what drew me is the specialty stitches because I do enjoy stretching my legs and, and doing specialty stitches sometimes. And I just, I just thought it was gorgeous. And so there it is. I can't wait to start on that one. And then last but not least, I've got a Rosewood Manor. And it's called Postcard of Love. 
I'm not really sure what drew me to this. I just, I think it has flowers and a butterfly. And I just thought it was super pretty. And there you go. So I hope to catch up with you next week. Um, I'm hoping to at least get one finish done. That would be amazing. And, uh, and that would be the frog. Um, after that, I really don't know what I'm going to concentrate on. I know for my trip, I'm kind of probably going to bring lovebirds because it would be easy. I'm not saying I'm going to have time, but I hate not to bring something because what happens if I do? So <laughs> I'm going to bring that one and see how it goes and just play it by ear. But thanks again for stopping by. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and get lots of stitching done and enjoy your weather. Our weather's been a little crazy here. Um, I don't know. It's been kind of cool. I mean, I've still been wearing shorts, but I think they said it was going to go down to like 55 at night next week, which is really unusual. But I'm just going to go with the flow. And if I have to wear jackets, so be it. Take care, y'all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.